Hello, and I am back after, yeah, quite a while again. <laughs> and finally, we've started after a long time, and yes, I know, again, late this story. <laughs> then yes, we got new stuff going on, we got rubber released and a side story with her i'm guessing and also like an event story with her of course i've also rolled for her and i already own her and i'm already building her um but i haven't really used her yet so we actually might do that for today just first, I want to check what was this thing again. I think she was like primarily break damage. Dazzling and converging blades. Yeah, she's primarily like for weakness breaking. I don't want to switch for weakness break T then. I mean, you could go with that, or I'm just gonna go place for me, or. Yeah, come on, we're gonna replace five level with I guess. How about here you go? Ninja, please impart me with your wisdom. All right, but what we are gonna do is first is always this story content or whatever is new for story and I feel like a banana banana outrage passes without ninja and humanity already sounds quite interesting and an Andalusian monkey. Wait, Andalusian monkeys. All right. We will just see where this goes. I've just seen the trailers and stuff with like rubber and the monkeys, and I'm like already like hella confused again. What do we just see where this goes? We will see. You're finally here! We've been waiting for so long! Yeah, sorry to make you wait. It's only been five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Since everyone's here, let's get down to business. The Astral Express just received an invitation to the Planet of Festivities. Okay. Uh, hang on. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> is this going to be a repeat of the Chowani Festival or the Wardens? Even the Planet of Festivities can't possibly hold a festival every day. Don't worry. The Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Fenaconi's Paperfold University. Okay. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of soul. The Astral Express has been invited as guest to the conference. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? Definitely sounds like something much would do. <laughs> Don't worry, you can leave such boring events to the grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Welt, as for the three of you. If you're interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Hmm. Well, okay. it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfold University is preparing for its Dreamlight anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. What I just wonder right now, though, is 
is this playing after the wardens or not or is this like before or like after because we've really like actually like probably uh, properly ended with the story last time was with Ruamai arriving on the central door of Fu, Fushren coming back and also Wells and Himiko joining us there. So why are we now jumping back to Panacone? <laughs> it feels a bit like disordered. Why don't you youngsters join the new students? Hmm? You could uh, explore the campus, uh, experience student life. Uh, do, do we have to study? Uh, that's great! A young, cute girl full of energy living her best life on campus? That experience is practically made for me! <laughs> I hear that Paperfold University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. <clears throat> I would love to check it out too. Hmm. That's a top art school, okay. I guess I finally have some academic credentials. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh how about I don't want to go to school? This will literally scream my sentiment about all of this. <laughs> don't worry. Guest students don't get a lot of homework. Besides, all of the professors and students are busy preparing for the festivities. Just uh Treat it as a party. Really, like, I'm uh, kind of honest here. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm like out of school, don't have to deal with college anymore, or even with like the school of my apprenticeship. I'm so glad I'm so done with all of that. Uh, kind of a, quite a really annoying time, not gonna lie. Campus life without homework or examinations? <laughs> that sounds like paradise. <laughs> no. <Nah, laughs> Looks not to like me. everyone can't wait. Let's go ahead with that plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's all have some fun. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling like more hidden. <laughs> investigate. Send to investigate. Alright, it was like a node. We got like a node. Uh, what else do we have here actually? I guess you can take a break. Okay, uh, no. Let's talk to the others first. As the top university in Penacony, the strict examinations and expensive tuition have deterred many potential candidates. The people who are admitted to the school are either well-known wealthy merchants or exceptionally talented geniuses. Because of this, I hear that the culture on campus has a truly Penaconian flavor. <laughs> how intriguing. I really like how this, like, I, I forgot how it was called again, actually. How it just, like, throws itself to the floor and just goes to sleep. <laughs> kind of my spirit animal, not gonna lie. Yeah, the Tusk Pier. That's what it was called. <laughs> just like I would just like go bloop and gone. What's the problem doing here actually? Huh. He's just running with me. Oh, I triggered like that. <laughs> okay. I haven't like chatted with Pom Pom in a long while, to be honest. Campus. <laughs> oh, that word sure brings back a lot of memories. Now that you mention it, I recall that you had a teaching stint back home. Any delightful stories that come to mind? I had more than just a teaching stint back home. <laughs> yeah, too many to count. Uh, but then again, these admission documents will take us a while to complete. I'll see if I can dig up any stories for you. 
I mean, I already know some of them. Uh, electives, oh, extracurricular activities, campus parties. Oh, I want to try them all. I don't think we were sticking around for that long, are we? Actually, I've never been to school before. Oh, come on. <laughs> now uh, never mind let's just relax and enjoy ourselves on campus i'll be in your care now i don't think we are like that uneducated as a terrier blazer at least i hope so a comfy couch that makes you drowsy as soon as you lay down on it i just hope this trip doesn't send you into another strange dream oh boy i wouldn't even be surprised if that would happen Hey, surprising unsurprisingly dust oh, yep oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what is that ruckus this is already starting perfectly I guess oh my god oh, no, no, no. wait is this is this supposed to be like the ringing of like a school bell or something is there something about your ears, but your trust is all came with noise and your eyelids remained unmoved? We've arrived! Why do you always fall asleep when we're warping? I couldn't even wake you up. I'm wondering if we already did it in another like memorial dream or not. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh, uh, what do you mean, ruckus? I was really gentle when trying to wake you up. All right, let's go check in. Himeko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. Hmm. I don't Dear guest, talk to you. how may I be of service? Uh, I want to get some more ID tokens. Just in case. Welcome to the Reverie, distinguished shareholders. Oh, I almost forgot that we're Penicone shareholders. Was it like only five percent, though? Well, Upon sure, hearing the this. news that you were returning to Peniconi, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. They are ready for you anytime. Wow. Um, six? That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Yang, Pom Pom had already checked in three days ago. That doesn't sound right. Pom Pom? What are you talking about? I see. We thank the family for their gracious hospitality. Who's Please sitting pom -poms help name? us with the check-in. Of course. Your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Peniconi. We didn't have an enjoyable stay the last time, though. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, apologies for interrupting you earlier. Uh, Don Hung, do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel too? Why does? If Don my Hung guess is something? correct, it's probably Boot Hill checking in under Pom Pom's name. Okay, not that surprising to be honest. You mean Mr. Four, Mr. Holy Four Caroni? Yes. When we worked together in Peniconi the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then, too. <sighs> He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Food Hill? What is he doing here? I Good question. don't know. 
Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boot Hill will... I will do anything that is uh, detrimental to the Express. Since uh, Pom Pom checked in three days ago, we can probably find him in the dream. We'll ask him more about it then. Uh, let's get going then. A paperfold university is located in the moment of Seoul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school. So let's meet at the gate. I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. <laughs> uh, time to enter the dream. Right, I just noticed I forgot to switch dreams actually. I did change the team, I just didn't switch to it. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just set it up there. Okay, a lot of people in suits for whatever reason. Hurry up! I hear that the major shareholders have already arrived at the lobby. Don't yeah. alarm them. Too late for that. I know, but that fellow was running in this direction. Oh, how did he disappear so quickly? Shh! Someone else is here. Who are you? <laughs> I'm. I'm the Swiss. Wait. Swiss are from the festivity auditions? I doubt that. We go with the most neutral answer. The what express now? Don't try to sell me anything. My miserable pay can't afford to buy an express of any sorts. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. <gasps> Wait a second. Gray hair, yellow eyes, ribbons that serve no purpose on his clothes. <laughs> I think he's the major shareholder you were talking about. <laughs> I like how the game is so the office case like this so self-aware and uh, like his design. There's like some details that are like kind of why are they even there? They have like no practical purpose. Couldn't you have said that earlier? <clears throat> I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The Bloodhounds are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please be at ease and enjoy your stay. Yeah, I love that. The suspect. You. Is it sustainable? Ah, uh, yes, sustainable. We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some. But these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests, so the Bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take our leave for now. Please have a good rest. Hmm. Um, please stay safe and be careful in the dream. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm confused. I said a true chest. Maybe I should. It appears to be different from what you previously encountered. Pace with your passion is unwilling to open up its heart. But choosing to fetter itself further. Oh, yeah, let's do a dex roll. <laughs> Which are you using your sex to your bride? Oh, my, this is this related universe. Ah. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> We roll the critical one. Okay. 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 Let's just watch it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, you're not suspicious at all. There's a strange monkey doll in the room. Judging from the materials, you can see the doll's craftsmanship is exquisite. But the special design begs to dither. The sly look and eyes brimming with wit. Do you really like paradise like this? I kind of want to punch it. 
You must have swift punch the monkey's face. It's soft texture and well fist. The monkey's visage accepts the anger. It definitely hit cotton. You can take the iron fist and beauty of the trade wizard power, but this explosion remains unchanged. He has targeted with violence, but it responds with a smile. Okay. <laughs> Still sus though. There is a monkey strong on the film reels cover on the table. Where exactly? I don't see it. A title is remaster top 10 slum banana monkey classic shorts. It even has a limited edition serial number labeled on it and first gold lettering. This appears to represent a present prepared for you by the revelry, a most considerate gesture. It would have been even more thoughtful if it were a projector in the room. There's nothing here to play the rear. Why is everything so sus? Is there something else we can check? Have we got a treasure chest? Or something else? I found words to uh, to be so foreign as they are now. Even the soonest T-shirt be beacon can help you translate this gibberish. If it were an work of the Riddlers, one would wonder whether the writer was irredeemably mentally disturbed. I can't open the box. Something just doesn't feel right. But I can't keep March seventh and Don Hong waiting. Uh, never mind. I'll head to sleep for now. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> well, this place sure is sealed off. <laughs> no other way. I have to borrow your bed. <sighs> Please forgive me. We get to sleep with another girl. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Focus on your breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. An island. 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 Something's off. Island. The fuck? What am I watching? Did I just see something strange? What did the people at Hoyerville smoke when they did this chapter of the story? The fuck? <laughs> uh, huh. Is this Paperfold University? It doesn't look much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. Also, what's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're really getting busy. That bizarre monkey banner. Okay. Uh, speak English with me. Thank you very much. The monkey in front of you keeps making banner gibberish sounds. <laughs> Reminding you of the film you just watched. What an entertaining one it was. Do you remember how the theme song goes? Please, no. Yep, that's a tune. Let's sing together and open the door to a new world. Is it trying to hypnotize us? Yeah. 
I'm the real soul on your artist journey, the longing for a moment of rest. I'm not saying. You're a resolute nameless, of course you would hear such an invitation, but when you open your mouth, what comes out is... Of course we don't have a choice. Bana -bana. Look, your banana gibberish has attracted more adorable monkeys. What is this fever dream? What a wonderful yet harmonious atmosphere, no wonder, uh, no matter what, you should join in. Uh, rest a blessed banana, banana chip and rush. In the center of bananas from the lesser monkeys. Yeah, thanks game, I know that I don't get a choice. Banana, banana. Ha! By the great land above! Ha! A most terrifying close call that was. But fear not. The darkest hour of the night may be upon us, but this majestic skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt! Huh? Yo, yo! <laughs> Under starry skies, evil low and high. Helpless folk in the dark fighting for their lives. Silent ninja hearts written down in red tears. Noble ninja hearts in the night join here. Stormy tides crashing forth, all evil flame. Come the dawn, shining sparks lighting up again. Yo, yo, dazzling ninja. AKA Rapper, nice to meet ya. Alright. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> what kind of devious trap is this? Not only are there feedlings abound, but there are also concealed weapons flying about. It was your own. You gave Brudos herself. Ha! I'm afraid you're mistaken. You're simply too good-hearted to realize that the Feedlings were manipulating its landing spot with sorcery. Uh. Be gone, Feedlings, or I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu. <laughs> How can it be? Uh, wait, she the understands the monkeys? What the hell? I... I am unable to communicate with these fiendlings. Don't let this weirdo interrupt your happy moments. Listen, the little monkeys are still joyfully inviting you. They're really trying to hypnotize us. Oh, here it is again. That strange feeling. Be on your guard. This is also part of the feeling sorcery. Hang in there. I'll get you out of this right away. Dazzling palm, righteous shot! Bam. <laughs> did you just hit our head? <laughs> like, did you just really just like literally just give us a chop on our head? Oh, come on. How oh, shocking. The initial strikes of forward with such force, this powerful impact reverberates through your body, striking your very soul. In innocent, all your five senses are severed. The sounds of monkey ceases. <laughs> well, now I'm definitely Great awake. Humble apologies. Dazzling Palm was designed to deliver a powerful impact to the soul. I've endeavored to control my strength, but some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. The monkeys don't really have a fierce look on their faces. As if saying, what the heck is going on? Yeah, I'm literally wanting the same. Hmm. Showing your true colors now that your evil schemes have been exposed. They're calling for their fellow ape feelings. Please take cover behind me. Ugh. 
Starting point of a great hunt. Uh, I don't think I have a shield carrier with me at the moment. Eternal. Get them. Let's improvise. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> Some value, I suppose. <laughs> so this is the warmth of rain. or devils. I'll crush them all! Take your positions. <laughs> Ninjutsu, ninjutsu, secret technique, dazzling obliteration! <laughs> Still the same one. Grace and elegance. Yeah. We're doing a lot of damage, actually. Great teamwork. <laughs> the mood is set. Let the show begin! Be swept away by the wind. Dreams do come true. They've scampered off in different directions. Those feedlings are up to no good. We better get moving. Mm. Yeah, who exactly are you? I never leave a question unanswered. I am a ninja, aka Rappa. As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There are still feedlings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Singing monkeys and a singing ninja. <laughs> Am I dreaming? Yep, I would say so. You are indeed dreaming. I mean, we're in Pentagonia. You can return to a safe location after touching this object. Pinacani truly is filled with boundless my mysteries. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? <laughs> I'll go with Ninja Tamamo. Ooh, a strong name. Well met, baseball bat ninja. <laughs> Forgive me for speaking out of turn, baseball bat ninja. But for your safety, you and your companion should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these feelings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the ninja hero's arch enemy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil ninja Osaru! Uh, who? It's time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. Lightning fast before you finish speaking, Ninjas already leaped into the screen bubble and vanished without a trace. It all happened so quickly that the average person's eyes can't keep up. Uh, this does look like the way out. Let's go. We carry a cushion, climb over the railing, entering the monkey shaped dream bubble. I'm so confused again. Are you previously on cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions? The hell? A long, long time ago, in a world far away, 
There was a city that flourished under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace, and happiness could be felt even in the sewers of the ninja capital. Until... An evildoer known as Eva Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and laid claim to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. Mm -hmm. 56 year of the ninja era, the ninja capital. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my first of, dazzling ninjutsu. First of all, is it supposed to be King Kong up there? I'm like, this is definitely like a, a King Kong reference up there, right? Second of all, what the hell is that moon? <laughs> Why does it look like that? Especially since like totally it does not fit with like the rest of this look of the cityscape, but okay. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow. A sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all bad women. And child. Why is it speaking so weirdly? It sounds like he's like just like thinking up all of these like words at random, just like on the spot, as if like trying to come up with like a weird story about preparation. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear I will train hard until I become the dazzling ninja. An admirable resolution uh, to contend with the evil ninja you will also need a new name a name befitting a ninja what should i be called i don't know my disciple your name will carry your ideals your convictions and your destiny your ninja name belongs to you so the decision is yours to make. <laughs> what a baffling dream. <sighs> I should now be at Paperfold University. Right? I hope. Uh, oh, we're over here. <laughs> Looks like we finally arrived. Do you have to like, like look out for birds again? I do wonder. The club is recruiting them. Oh, you're late. Did you run off to Idean Park with someone to clown about again? <laughs> I met a lot of my geese. Tell everyone about this strange stream you just had. The monkeys and the ninja. Mm, that doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacony. It seems more like a dream bubble. Uh, those monkeys you were talking about? Is that them? Yep. Uh, 
I knew you had to be talking about Slumber Nana Monkey. Allow me to introduce you to the most popular little guy in Paperfold University. It's more beloved than Clocky. Slumber Nana Monkey likes goofing off and loves eating bananas. It lives a carefree life in the moment of Slumber Nana. Uh, Is it also a cartoon character created by the watchmaker? Uh, no, no. It only appeared recently. It's a... Uh, uh, what's it called again? A me... Uh, a meme. No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up bananies that only fellow fans would understand, and even created sticker packs and fan works. Uh, okay. I mean, like, sticker packs and fan works, all right, but making up even your own f language for this, come on. Uh, the most popular one is the Slumber Nana song. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> but I she knows so much about it. Of course. I'm a college student who keeps up with the times. How do you know so much? Yeah, I do one as well. Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. Oh, I don't even want to be in a group. Just <laughs> say so, cheese, so, so, that's her name. Come on. Just bought two fresh banana. Yeah, bananas. Hey, welcome. Formulas and a trendy instant banana sticker. I mean, I wouldn't say I like them. I'm just playing along. It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go. A spectacular campus life awaits us. running a school in a dream anyway. Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? Actually, quite a good question. I didn't even think about it. But Marge definitely has a point here. Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for Dreamweavers and was founded by Glocks, head of the Nightingale family. Later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations, and the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and Fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Hmm. Really Paperfold like University's park. motto is Color your dreams, free your ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around. Actually, why are both of them so knowledgeable about this university? We just, like, first heard of that, like, moments ago. But all right. Oh, the chest. Is this going to be on TV? Ha! 
I mean, there's origami birds here, but... Bro, we don't want to eat banana monkeys. What the fuck? You already got me because gummy birds can death crawl? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Why not? Uh, what am I supposed to look around here for? Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay, we have to look up the birdies. Good thing I can get the ID in Tobin's then. It means I also have to look out for trash cans again. Uh. Or do I wait? Game will tell me if I have to. Yep, there's two charge cans again. Hello, new students. How are you? Uh, what is that? Mm. Did I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assistant Anna 416 from the Welcoming Committee. Assistant Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? It's Bananies. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Uh... One of the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams troupe. Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams troop to be substitute teachers. Banana. That just sounds worry. weird. The banana advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our banana academic standards remain top notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first. Banana. I feel like we're just stuck uh, in, in a dream we did not intend it to go into. I sure will! I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright! Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, what am I supposed to interact with here? Lucky? Aww, Slumber Nana Monkey is so cute! Oh, are you Slumber Nana Monkey's right banana too? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is that a plush next to you? I bought this from the creator's market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. Oh, so cute. I want one. I'll go take a look when I get the chance. You there? Please, wait a moment. Huh? What do you feel they are also are sus? Are you talking to us? Like everything like feels just really sus here. Oh, I see another bird. So how am I supposed to reach it up there? Uh, good question. <laughs> Got 
a problem with that? <laughs> Hi there! I'm Treasure Nana from the campus group chat. You can call me Montana. Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hung. I'm baseball bad ninja now. What? When did you start going by that name? Oh gosh, I recognize you. You're this season's festive superstar. Oh, you're famous. I never thought I'd go to the same school with someone famous. I bet you'll be assigned to the Charmony Academy. Assigned? Ah. It refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. Okay. <laughs> Don't know, can I copy your answers? <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. Aww, the family assigns every student their major? doesn't sound very harmonious to me. Don't worry. If a student disagrees with the result, they can apply for a transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Penaconi relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh, that's reality for you. <laughs> Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the creator's market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Bana! Uh, the teachers and students here sure are <laughs> unique. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, you old fogey. <laughs> Oh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Look, Dean is going on stage. What? No way. The Dean is... Uh... <laughs> Hello, students. Or should I say, Benajour. On. Is this a gag? Eee, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey! I'm Professor Freeman. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. <sighs> my dearest students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credits. Um, I'm not sure if that's how school is supposed to work. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the Dreamlight Anniversary. 
Color your dreams. Free your ideas. Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than the rumors say. It uh, really suits Pentacone. Hmm. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. This is all just hella weird. Is it like arrows leading me over here? Wait, I saw that the ink. Where's the ink? Is it up? Wow. That was just pure luck that I ran through the trigger. I'm just exploring else over here. All right. Ah, TikTok. Show me a real puzzle. Okay. And okay, this is what I need. All right. Mm. I still need that one there. It doesn't really do anything, it's just like there for uh, nothing, I suppose. Oh, yeah, okay, it's not for there for nothing. Oh, it was all right. Must not lust for wealth, but they still need some possessions. That one was luck as well. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I have to look at the roof a bit more because there's not one up here. This one actually saw. I like not the roof of the ceiling. Uh, here we are. There's so many people. Is everyone here for the exam? <sighs> Let's call, I guess. Robin stream.
Okay. I accept this reward uh, bestowed by the great Ron. Of course, there's a bird up here. Are the birds here do all have like different colors? Do they? Normally, they're like only one color per area, but it looks like this area is like woody colored. This is anything you can pick up. Hey there, Easy. Welcome to chat. Anything else up here? No. According to the student, I'm just assigned seat. Please wait here for the teacher to arrive. Alright. Let's wait then. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Uh? Actors, settle down, settle down. Actors? <laughs> Please, quiet down. <laughs> Get back to your seat! Wait, Booter? Turn off all recording devices! Get ready! Or not. No. The film is about to begin! It looked a bit like Booter Hello, from the side. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Wrecker. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. Uh, Mr. Wrecker, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that everywhere I stand is a set. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it's him! It's Mr. Rick in the flesh! It's Members, please remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please stay in character. <laughs> ah, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the blue hour. He's a really famous director. I think. <laughs> you think? Okay. Ah, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A uh, Fading Nebula, and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? Uh -huh. I thought you only watch documentaries. <laughs> His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Uh, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner. Hmm? Presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. Oh. Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. Huh. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Well, it's called Turing huh? Test, after all. Miss Sedina. Also? In your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. I like how his eyes are like uh, the play button icon. <laughs> it looks... It looks weird. It's like you have to get used to it at first, but it's also a cool, cool design choice of the character. What? Uh, uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such slop. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner okay, because of the word. acting dean. You, you can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations... According to academy regulations... Think carefully now. What do the academy regulations say exactly? The academy regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room, so... 
keys to examiner. Wait, but you're the examiner. What's going on here? Good, you finally connected the dots. On my set, the director's word is law. Uh, uh, huh? He has a weird ability. Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. It's looked more like he manipulated them on like a psychological level. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. I'm not sure if it's clockwork actually. Maybe she was just in awe of the director's aura? Hey, student with the gray hair! It's your turn! Go to the performing arts classroom. Uh, it's finally your turn! Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! I just like how it, like, you only see her at. <laughs> uh, where do you have to go for that? All the way around, it looks like. That's good. Like, it's like for the whole circle, I would say. Just see what else is like hidden here. Ha. My treasure chest. I accept this reward bestowed by the great one. Uh, except for Pentaconian art history. All right. The dean's office. <laughs> okay, I guess I did go to the dean's office. And here you have our like bird, the professor owl. <laughs> he had an origami bird stuck on his head. Wow. Searching more birds later. <laughs> oh. <sighs> right, comscape? Muscape? Hey, the trusty building was in female to correct gears. Ooh, this is interesting. Do I have like to pick right order? I just have like to find one. Oh, okay. Actually says, but uh, 
I only feel like I only find like one solution to this. Can we just leave this? Oh, you know that anyway. Okay. Uh... I hear a bird. Ah, it's up there. <gasps> HR bird. I was hearing another bird. Barking. Okay. Are you another bird? Huh. Who are we going to call this time? Professor Ratio, <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. A ninja must not lust for wealth, but they still need some possessions. Okay, what test do we have for us? <laughs> Welcome to the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. Okay. I know you're Penagoni's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director, change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! Um... You're confident. Good. A confident performer tends to delight the audience with surprises. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Hmm. And the guess you a gay boys mobile ninja. Joking with the examiner during an exam. You have a desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Mm. Oh, I get what you need. The ability to not shy away from danger can bring great value when filmmaking. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. 
her the this frog. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Okay. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? You amused her. A humorous performer indeed. <laughs> now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony this is uh, an also well You ran us. across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme or perhaps a dream that belongs solely to you? How do you know so much? It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. Hmm, well, I guess we found that, maybe? I see. Congratulations on having a clear goal. Your film will surely be a hit at the box office. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were humorous. Like a celebrity in front of a camera. Combined with your experience in winning the festivity auditions, the best academy for you is Charmony Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? I guess I'll take it. I don't really, really care. I'm grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Charmony Academy. Here is your student card. Pelle Coney Pepperford University College Student ID. Name Tomo. Academy Charmony Academy. ID XYZ. Okay. Academy program temporarily missing student. Original Studio Express. Interesting point of origin. Validity within a two hundred one one fifty eight. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's it's the academy address. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought it, I thought we as a like as a character have, have our own address written on here, but no. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. My exam is over. I'll wait for March 7th and dawn home. I think he just knows a lot more about what's going on than he lets on. Though he is quite obvious about that. I much also finished the exam after some time has passed. Academy instead of Charmony Academy. I could see that. I really thought I had the acting chops. Now I have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. <laughs> Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. 
It made me really curious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? Tony. Ah, as expected of Panacone's festive superstar. I'm so jealous. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. <laughs> oh my. I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Don Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. You just have the bragging. Anyway, <laughs> we're finally done with the admission process. Oh, let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? Good question. He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. I don't think Himiko but would have written them down. why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? <laughs> yeah, I thought Mimiko would write that down. <laughs> Connected you. Yeah, ho ho. Okay. I'm just going for them. To, oh, look, to, there's so many thing. students here. And so many booths. Are they all set up by student clubs? Hmm, let's get something to eat while we walk. Hello, and welcome to the dessert club. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Looks in, friend. Who? Who is he referring to? Oh, did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, uh, we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Hmm. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> of course. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wok rainforests. The intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning, and the extinct golden slum banana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. I'm gonna go for the bloodthorn. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to dreamscape cooking. Uh, tranquility. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone's Sweet Dream Icing, as Donna's Specialty Cinnamon, and the Hotel's Special Chili Sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because Paperfold University students come from many different planets. 
One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. <laughs> that could be me. I do like to dip stuff in chili or like chili oil. Um, I'm gonna go with this on a cinnamon though. If it's for pie, I'm not really. I don't see the benefit in dumping everything with chilies. Especially not pie. So. That's what it is in a minute. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. Oh, whoa. This is intense. It's as if something is biting my tongue. Ah. <sighs> This dessert is so tasty. I can feel my whole body relaxing. Mm -mm. There's also a unique spicy taste. Like a warm current spreading through my mouth. Awesome! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> Sweet. It feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart. Whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too. I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in Dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Doesn't look like she has that much of confidence, uh, unless oh, it comes look. to dessert begging, I guess. Slumber, Nana Monkey. <sighs> okay, let's do the next order. I didn't do much yet besides pulling the mirror and touching two blocks, but okay. Okay, this can go this and this can go that. I feel like... Welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I, I'm feeling Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. Hey, Richie. You know us? Of course. You're the festive superstar. The nameless and Panacone shareholders. Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forms 
were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. I'm not sure about the intelligence in the eyes, but okay. The toy talks? This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock. So, act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 Alpha Alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. Uh, six month warranty isn't that long. It's actually quite short. Also, we are seeing free. How can you say that only one is left in stock? This is the lowest price, buddy. You can't even buy a meal in the golden hour with this amount of credits. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one. Huh? Uh, no, please don't. Uh, this is really important for me. Uh, please, buddy. Just one. Buy just one. I'll buy it. It gives me one. <laughs> <sighs> Wonderful. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Uh, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> The demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. Come on. You scammed us. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I wouldn't dare cheat you, buddy. Uh, Pre-orders are essential to ensure demand is met. If I didn't do this, some buyers would be missing out. Uh, don't worry. Once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. Uh, no, I'll personally deliver it to you. You better be. Oh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Well, why is there a crowd blocking the way? Did we, did we get a pre-order item? I really need a range character for that. Uh, hi. Where is the wrap up me. there? Can you move out of the way? Wait, don't go there. The discipline is there. searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. School uniforms aren't free. Go buy one from the faculty office. Wait, President. I've read about them on the paper folk forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penacone shareholders? <laughs> I'm just gonna smirk. <laughs> The flesh of my lips curved more than a banana, like a stone cloud loamy, making the preliminary comedy students tremble. My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm? Or my home? Why would I want to visit your home? Leave me alone, creep. Oh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. <laughs> oh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. If you wouldn't have met Rapper before, I would actually say this also sounds like this is something civil would do, but yeah. Um, is that the person up ahead? <gasps> Darn, it's her! Ha! Found you! 
You're not getting away this time. Ninja and Nishikigaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end. You're right, dazzling ninja. They are the warriors of this land. No, they're the evil spirits drawn to our sins. Uh, sure. Lamentable. My ninja speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect. The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect. Your determination is admirable. Ninja Nishikigaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. That evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninjutsu. Uh... Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Uncle, why do we have to? You from the performing arts club. That woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is. She's perfect! <laughs> Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gagaku was purely happenstance. But I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. That's me. Uh, do you know her? Yep, I do. <laughs> I wish I didn't. No, I kind of like her. She's on, uh, I suppose. So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters. Victory for the ninjas! You! Put on your school uniform or it's a demerit. Huh? <laughs> the image who claimed to be the ninja initiate Kikari has been detained by the head of the disciplinary Baseball committee. Baseball ninja, it is good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, nameless ninjas. I am Rappa, a.k.a. the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless ninjas? Are you talking about the nameless? Oh, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he is Don Hung. What strong names. Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu. The fuck? Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja here you are oi, Don Hung. The fuck? <laughs> Why is his name getting longer? <laughs> <laughs> um she's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? Maybe? Maybe this is the real case of Tunibio, I don't know. In the scenes of the Night of Beauty or the Ruthless Man. Isn't she like... Isn't she like... Uh, related to... Butil, actually? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a ninja two planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball Bat Ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together. I guess we did. Uh, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. She has a point there. You claim to be our companion? So... It's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course, that is exactly why I'm here. But before that, 
there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Oh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! Um, okay. I want to pick up the chest eyes on the background. There we go. A ninja must not lust for wealth. But they st <gasps> You're still here! Thank goodness! Ninja initiate Gagaku! What ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character! Use my stage name! Nana Bloom Chan! Okay. Referring to the flowers that bloom on banana trees. They're really pretty. You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! How much longer does this do the names go here to hell? name yep this challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models you'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements we'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you that sounds great let's take some photos together much as our photographer if it is a trial prepared by ninja initiate i see no reason to refuse great now choose a photographer among yourselves this challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test more than the models. Uh, what? Um, uh, uh, can't you do it, please? I really want my own photo shoot. I'm begging you. <laughs> of course. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck. As for our prop, <gasps> let's use the slumber nana monkey toy. All right, make sure you get all the models and the slumber nana monkey in the shot. That shouldn't be too hard. Ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite. Oh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand audition too. Mm -mm -mm. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun. <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me. Why have you been following us all this time? Oh, very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was a mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. Uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Buddha. Silver Gun Shura. Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title, Ninja Hero. Uh, they both mean the same thing? Well, hmm. so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but... Why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. 
You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So all of like your ninja talks is just like synonyms for actual other words. Mm. Of course. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penakami is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his fiendlings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know what she's talking about? <laughs> A story account of the ninja realm locked in the ninja scroll. Huh? <laughs> I'll just play along, I guess. Forget I asked. <laughs> <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. Hmm. Would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. Oh, the switching to PV to him. Sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering, hatred is the frailty of the weak. And that's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But if you ask me. Oh, thank you for the follow, yeah, mama, mama. My muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Huh? What's he talking about? I am panic on you right now. Roof on desk. Oh, his message is on on sending. Carter has a galaxy ranger, so I'm gonna check your tenny with you. Then a bit. Single bag, this place is taller than you guys met rapper already. Okay, I guess he has like bad reception. How long have you been playing the story ever since release? Uh. Don't ask me how long ago that was. <laughs> I don't even remember. Fork in hell. Pardon me for asking, but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? No, it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit. Of mine. Hmm. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rappa, but I don't see anything strange going on here. I mean, you're not where the monkeys are, and I think they'll. Whole street, like the strange things that's been on the entire time, is these monkeys. I'll ask you one last time Do you have any taste at all? What's going this on now? This place is useless sitting here empty. But if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dream Plux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Why are they all uh, going on about the slumber nana monkeys? It's like taking on an unnatural extent. Huh. It doesn't matter what you say. 
You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... <gasps> who are you? Now come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. Uh, I, I don't care what beef really. you got. Just uh, make way, will you? <laughs> so what? You hired this guy to be your thug? How does it get that idea? Uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't know this man either. But thug or no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. Forking hell. You hard of hearing or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? Looks like it. All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who have already died once. Interesting way to phrase that. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. <laughs> Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? <sighs> Wait a sec. The fudge was that? I guess he is a. I don't dig his aesthetic that well, actually. But yeah, I'm also not like all the big more like the cowboy and also machine thing he has going on. Bet your bananas were the. When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? The monkeys are getting to him already. Bananas. Son of a banana. <laughs> oh, what the banana fudge in Sunday? <laughs> it sounds so weird when you say banana like that. Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody. First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happened to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Oh. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. <sighs> Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. I don't think There's a reason that. why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. I mean, Let's go. Uh, hold on. Banana, my Sunday. Oh, forget it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally, someone sensible. Hmm. Yeah, we chat with that Mica, dude. I know what you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. 
It's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues of monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a Galaxy Ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. I mean, yes, it's strange indeed that a Galaxy Ranger is here in the first place, but... I doubt that this whole monkey thing is just a fad. This is... Yeah. Going on... This is a bit worse than that. Are you here chasing evil? Or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone. And now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana. Just tell me what's <laughs> going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistananas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumbered Anna Monkey. Ah, uh, so the Assistananas infiltrated Panacone? At least that's what it sounds like. Hmm. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance. Just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumbered Anna Monkey. The young people love it. Well, the real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Yeah, this is already getting stranger and stranger. Now they're doing like campaigns and such. The fuck? Oh, you, those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now. No one's tried to stop them. Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef. So I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides, for a very long time. This was the only place in Penacone that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil or settling a grudge? Oh, they're chasing evil. <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? <laughs> <sighs> the answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. Okay. Fair enough. <sighs> you still worried about something? <sighs> Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that. Consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? <laughs> it may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him. All right. Not sure what it was on about with that, but okay. You're not making things easy here. You say you're a slumbered and a monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait. I just slipped my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is. is. may all see the world for what it is an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? 
You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. Mm hmm. Hold it right there. Here for the Slumberdana Association event, sir. Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. Oh, this is members only. Nana Sunday, are you talking about? Uh, another bandwagoner? Exits over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Oh, listen, buddy. Don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. <laughs> Fantasy love, no, fantasy love bananas. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event. Well, that's fine and all. But I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? I like that gal from just now. I give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. Sign me up, partner. Why right, does this sometimes uh, written with D It's a lot and harder T. than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Dana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Dan Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? Uh. Ben on derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> okay, there's already bands on derivative works. Interesting. Let's go for the growth. Oh, Daniel, my Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no brainers, you know. Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but. Since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay. We'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? Okay. Oh, Robin. Hello there. We run. We strive. Miss Robin, am I singing it right? Mm-hmm. You're doing wonderfully. That reminds me. Shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast. But this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Something the matter, Miss Robin? Uh, nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, <laughs> she maybe said I brother. Just kept it at Mister. Would that have been better? In any case, Mister Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Oh, God. You just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you. Uh, hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. 
What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh. Oh. Fork? Fudge? Fudge! Man. <laughs> shirt balls are back to normal! Yay! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Two? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So, what in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve. So it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly off about the Dreamflux Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected, it's come to your attention too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Hmm. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Slumber Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Oh yeah, we already Besides, noticed that. Even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well. Don't change the fact that I still got to get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at. But why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? Uh, long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first... I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <sighs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Nana Monkey? Uh, tough guys exploring their soft side <laughs> are things these days. I guess they are. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudge heads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, we got our race, I guess. Which, yeah, okay. Let's blow away. Summon a monkey fan creation, dreams of monkeys and bananas. This fan work violates the guidelines for slum banana monkey yeah. fan creation due to exceedingly unsettling nature. Okay. I'm not gonna go for all of that. <laughs> to be honest, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to songwriting. This song was taken from somewhere else. But the first time I heard it, I knew immediately that it was the perfect song for telling Slumber Nana Monkey's story, so I wrote new lyrics for it. This is the Slumber Nana Traveler. I hope you find it appealing. <laughs> I've huh. wandered far, I've wandered wide with Slumber Nana Monkey. It's voice so clear, it's voice so bright Tells me to remember When you're tired, take a rest Take a break, it's for the best Life grows beautiful for those who will forfeit it all Uh, okay. They're even singing about it now 
So, uh, what's your expert opinion on this? It does seem a bit ominous. A song finds meaning in its existence, only when it can be sung by anyone and everyone. No matter how hard or tough an ordeal is, it can never take song away from the people. Okay. Not the kind of response I expected from Robin, but fair enough. Oh look, it is an expected response for, uh, from Robin, but not an expected response in the context of like Buddha's question. <laughs> I look like someone who placed that monkey beside my pillow. <laughs> well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Red Buddha and cute. Ah, uh, you. What? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello. Oh my! I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamfuck 3? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry. You'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. Mm -hmm. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together? Be the luckiest man alive. <laughs> uh, if it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in. You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person, like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say good things come in pairs. There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here, bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. Okay. Danny so and Slim Banana Pendant. I guess it will make the test easier or just let, him let us go for it? Huh? Do you need something else? Oh, I remember you. Last minute cramming isn't going to help, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a monkey expert now. About as much as I'm a master marksman. Ask away. If you say so. You're taking the Slumber Nana Association way too lightly, if you ask me. But here it goes. What tiers make up the Slumber Nana Association's membership hierarchy? I'm guessing it's the highlighted one. Which of the following is most likely to be a famous quote by Slumber Nana Monkey? Bingo! On to the last question now. Although the Slumber Nana Association has never banned any derivative works inspired by Slumber Nana, what kind of derivative works should you refrain from creating? Okay, I haven't written through the whole text, but yeah. Keep your scary stuff. Exactly! That's the most despicable form of slander. Uh, Congratulations, okay. you passed! That was impressive! This way, sir. Let's go, partner. Time to see what those troublemakers are capable of. I'm afraid it won't be wise for us to continue our investigations together, Mr. Brutella. What do you mean? If you're hoping to keep a low profile, my presence will only be a burden, Mr. Brutella. Moreover, if you intend to employ certain means of doing things it'll be for the better if i'm not around 
Yeah, I was just kind of right about it. As expected, a one in a seat of power in the family. You're a lot sharper than you let on. It's hard to tell what all of this is building towards. It'll be prudent for one of us to stay on the outside. Huh. Strange. They're linked, but this place... I don't detect any noise here. And the answer's simple. The gun may fire, but it's the bullet that does the killing. So, Mr. Boothill, I'm familiar with the Galaxy Rangers and their exploits, as well as with the entities they pursue. For you to stop here, something must be happening in Dreamflux Reef. Hey, don't be a stranger. You can just call me partner. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> monkeys. Monkeys. More monkeys. They're all little fudging monkeys. Evil ninja Osaru. Doggone little fudger. This is way too familiar sight for comfort. Things better not turn out the way Rappa feared they would. Gotcha. Oh, I'll leave things out here to you then. Oh, thanks for all the help so far. You're too kind. I should be thanking you instead. You have my gratitude for offering your assistance, Mr. Butil. You live up to the name of a Galaxy Ranger, indeed. <laughs> this ain't my turf. So let me just make some things clear. I don't give a rat's behind about people doing good or evil. Whatever's about to unfold in that little club full of Sherpa brains is no different from the usual stuff I do elsewhere. Things ain't gonna be pretty, but justice will be served. And that's all I care about. I see. Oh, hi, Charlie. Then... I wish you all the best. As for me, I will try to trace the noise to its source. We'll see each other again later, Mr. Boothill. Well, fudge me. There ain't nothing strange about this place at all. These ash foals are good. Well, that was quick. <laughs> well, butter my banana and call me a biscuit. We kicking off the member initiation ride so soon. Uh, I want to read what's tense to Bring it on, baby. One ninja's more than enough for this game of infiltration. Wait a banana. Is that... Me? Huh? Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, Is that real? Uh, <laughs> We're doing cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. <laughs> awesome. To defeat evil ninju Osaru, this girl has become the successor to the dazzling ninjutsu. Adopting the code name of Rappa, she began training under Master Kucha. To help Rappa master the secrets of the ninja arts. Master Kucha subjected her to harsh trials. And Rappa, in her quest to liberate the ninja capital from darkness, determinedly endured every test. Master Kucha is aware that Rappa is maturing into a true ninja, and her destined mission will soon unfold. Sixth anniversary of the ninja era, this thing dojo the ninja capital. Okay. 
Ninja initiate rapper. Yes, master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This, speaking so weirdly? this is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of dazzling ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. Oh, very helpful. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. <clears throat> so, the decision is yours to make. <laughs> Why is he pushing like all the decision making onto Rapper herself? <laughs> Stay awake. Don't fall asleep. We still can't reach Boot Hill. Uh, do you think we can trust Rappa? This might sound rude, but the only proof of her being a ranger is her peculiar behavior. I guess it's a Galaxy Rangers trademark that they all have. That they all are like weirdos. But who in this game is not a weirdo, to be honest. We have like a lot of weirdo characters. A lot. But her concerns are valid. I also find the sudden obsession with monkeys to be rather uh, unusual. Oh, thank you for the wait. Thank you, thank you, Demonkey TV. Hello, Raiders. And also, thank you for the photo of the ghost. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> thank you for all the photos. Come to think Very of it, it, ever since we arrived here, the presence of that little monkey has been making me feel a little unsettled. Yeah, this is an NS as well. We also have Kabuta that they're like weirder. Let's like, go and take a look at the class. A weird appearance. Shall we? Uh huh? <laughs> I thought all classes were cancelled. Oh, the monkeys are sus. Is he good, Bordo? Is he though? <laughs> a Dreamweaving class will start soon at Dreamweaver Academy. It's more part of the anniversary celebrations than it is a regular class. Slumber Nana Monkey's rise in popularity seems quite unnatural. If someone is stirring things up behind the scenes, we need to pay close attention to the actions of the teaching staff. I always question if people are good because uh, you never know. <laughs> and also, thank you. Thanks for liking the model. Uh, sure. We have to attend classes sooner or later anyway. Dream weaving classes at the stage plaza. Let's go take a look. <laughs> mm. I mean, I could see you why they think of him as a computer. Also, don't eat my ears. Thank you very much. They are fluffy, but they are no food.
You're here? <laughs> uh, look! Rap is here too! Looks like she's thinking along the same lines as us! What's she up to now? You're mistaken! Utterly mistaken! The day is also not up for food. Come on. Slumber Nana Monkey is by no means an ordinary cartoon character! <laughs> not monkeys again. I'm like, I'm getting, I'm getting quite annoyed of all these monkeys. Dreams are the canvas of one's Dude. subconscious. Within it, even a banana can carry intricate emotions. Not to mention the slum banana monkey, adored by countless ripe bananas! Yo! Baseball bat ninja! Ninja Ruri! Ninja Hiryu! It is a ninja creature. Which is the ninja present? This, this action seems super, uh, super furious, but it's courtesy that cannot be ignored by a ninja. I'm not sure when we really happen to become ninjas, but all right, Rebel, you do you. Uh, you don't need to individually greet everyone. So, are you also here for the class, Miss Rappa? I doubt that. Certainly, great ninjas think alike. This class dojo seems shady. <laughs> it harbors feelings. Exercise caution, fellow ninja warriors. Seems what do you mean with Louie? Huh? All right, let's dive right into our academics. What are banana, banana, banana cat? Bleh. All this banana stuff is not. <sighs> Too much banana. Three vegan banana twice as waste ahead the cusp of wings. Today's session is about decorating uh, okay. the campus to your liking. Here, grab one of these. Huh. The banana has a hands out a can of spray paint to the students, but you can't feel the weight of the can at all, as if it were empty. The materials that form the dreamscape are completely different from those in reality, and the same theories apply to dream weaving. What you're holding is memetic dye, which is made from memoria. Okay. Let's use it to decorate this wall. The theme will be everyone's favorite monkey, Slumber Nana Monkey. All right. Take care and thanks for. Coming by off the ride. So this class is about painting. <laughs> I mean, that's what's Rapper already been doing. It's just maybe like a slight attempt as a counter measure to like Rapper's graffiti's maybe. No, no, dream weaving is completely different from painting. Let me show you, but not. The dream of banana dries away is breaking and colorful ink. Oh, how did you so paint quick. that so quickly? Uh, and colorful ink droplets spread out. The colored ink seems to come to life, blowing, surging, and blending on the wall, creating ever changing images. Okay. It's like magic! Calm your mind. Visualize what you want to create. Channel your emotions to resonate with the materials. And there you have it. Your imagination will come to life in the dream. That's dream weaving, banana. Actually, you wonder what the, is it like? I was depicting like a monkey's mouth eating a banana, which is text, whichever script it is. Banana. Uh, March, please don't start with that as well. Uh, uh. Hmm? Banana, don't worry. Mimetic dye can affect the viewer's emotions. It seems this painting has helped you understand banana gibberish better. <laughs> Great. <sighs> 
Ah, that's it for my demonstration. Who would like to give it a try? I wonder how long this just goes on for, like, this exposition about, like, this whole banana trouble stuff. All right, look away. What is happening? My mouth was running on autopilot. This class definitely seems fishy. This whole thing is fishy from the very start. You only notice that now, Marge? I'll go and investigate. Uh, but you'd draw too much attention if you started speaking bananies too, Don Hung. Uh, how about he and I go instead? We're not usually that serious, so even if we mess up, it won't stand out too much. Sometimes we are like... so much to uh, like joking around so much that we are standing out again everything back on like the the, the, the ship in panic glory <laughs> where we watched what the trailblazer was doing from fireflies pure <sighs> um was that i'm not a serious person i say you're not a serious person great let's head out to try <laughs> me, uh, me too excellent you can all come up here those who excel might even earn some course credits for now why do we have to do classes to earn cross credits now i thought there are no classes for this semester and we need to get all our credits by default a restrained world is about to change, taking on your colors. Just thinking about it makes a tiny hand clutching the dream pain tremble with excitement. Okay. This will be a masterpiece that transforms paper for the university. To ensure you have no regrets about your youth, you must carefully blend the content of this painting. From color schemes to composition, from the big picture to the smallest detail, from concept to design. It is often no. Not just a system hour, not just a day, but an entire year of meticulous refinement. Make a mark on the history Hurry, of Dream World. I don't think we have a year, but okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, this grotesque monkey interrupted your daydream. But it did remind you of one thing. Time is the most, uh, most precious resource in creation. That's very true. You close your eyes and begin me uh, mediating, as instructed by Banana Advisor. First, calm your mind. Exactly, think about the things that bring you peace. Ooh, uh, I kept you waiting into a frown trash can. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, I want to go with Starless Sky. <laughs> you remember the vast universe you saw from the train with countless stars dotting the dark vacuum. Yet your painting will be even more enchanting and vibrant than the starry sky. Then, visualize what you want to create. The banana advisor demanded, demands the slum banana monkey, but do we really have to follow it to the letter? I doubt we even get a choice, do we? For some reason, your voice of doubt is drawn out by the banana gibberish of the letter monkey. Of course. It seems to be the will of the paint can itself. The sound of the monkey keeps echoing New Year's and images of the little monkey begin to appear in your mind. <sighs> I can't see this monkey for any much longer, really. There's no trust now. It seems the painting still. I will have to be of the monkey. What's that voice? It will, uh, what? This is a mysterious trash can you once helped. It's Shatana. She subdued the little monkey. Huh? Long time no see, Outlander. Okay. <laughs> Why are these trash cans budding, you know? You are our clan savior and the king hunter who took away the trash. How could you give in now? <laughs> Shut it, monkey from another land. You can't just break our destined chain so easily. What's going on? The power they can and the monkey battles and merges within you, ultimately channeling it into paint on your fingertips. 
The scent of bananas and garbage intervene in your nostrils, while two distinct images emerge in your mind. Lastly, channel your emotions to resonate Fuck. with the materials. <laughs> Everything is ready. Show your talent and unleash yourself on the canvas of the wall. Uh, okay. I actually can pick stuff. Uh, can spray your cute cafe as decorations. Only a clinic can exist simultaneously. Okay. Oh, okay. Just doing one of them. Okay. When you come to your senses, depending on your mind, is already on the wall. Yeah. R -r 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 Trash cans are better than monkeys. What a masterpiece, isn't it? Hurry and show it to the banana advisor. Is <laughs> also a monkey. March hasn't drawn something yet. No monkeys for you. The persistence has come at a heavy price. The man and twice is scolding and the mocking laughter of your peers echo in your ears. You're just drawing what you wanted. Did you already do something wrong? No. No. I just draw what I wanted. Outlander, I'm grateful for the artwork. True dignity lies in staying faithful to what you believe is right. What do trash cans have to do with what I believe is right? But okay. See, you did nothing wrong. Exactly. Let's move on to the next student. What in bananas is this? I'm wondering that too. We did see that before, didn't we? My seventh graffiti wall is as clean as a whistle, but in front of it is a huge six feet ice appears. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. It does look like a six faced ice crystal, but why? Well, let me explain. Ninja, six faced ice. Such formidable ice mastery. Ninja Ruri truly proves her might. Well, this dream weaving method feels just like condensing six faced ice. I can barely tell them apart. Okay. That's impressive, Banana! Weaving such a large object in such a short time is comparable to the work of a pro dream weaver! Wow, Mr. Rekka was telling the truth. I truly am a genius! Uh, I'm giving it a big fat zero. <laughs> I just uh, like your direction. Why? I gave you a theme, and that slumber nana monkey, not this giant useless block of eyes. Even pro Dreamweaver monkeys are expected to follow what is requested of them. No, you did good, March. You did very good. What even? The prof nana was just encouraging freedom in the classroom, and you're not even making the slightest effort in your class. Mm-hmm. You're allowed. And I get to flunk you for that. That's freedom for you. You pay a price for trying to be creative. Now, get back to your seat for now. Mm. Can you just beat this thing up already? Uh, how unreasonable. Moving on to the last student. Uh, where's your design? Slumber Nana Monkey. Slumber Nana Monkey. Alright, that's enough. Mumbling won't weave you any dreams. You're better off snacking on bananas with that useless trap of yours. Zero points for turning in nothing! It looks like everyone got zero points. Wait, I just need some more time. Even if 
if I did give you all the time in the cosmos, you won't have anything. Not when you are not passionate about slumber, nana, monkey. Ah, you're at the bottom of the class, aren't you? No, not exactly. I was also the second to last a couple of times. Yeah, you're kind of proving his point, you know. It's not, it's not, it's not helping. No. Uh, I'm really sick and tired of seeing students like you. A monkey with no talent for climbing will never reach the bananas. Why volunteer only to embarrass yourself? It's better to face reality and give up on this path sooner rather than later, banana. He's an asshole. It really is over the line. You possibly understand the affection in my words. Both you and the other girl have some talent. Unlike her, she has no talent whatsoever to speak of. Pursuing something she can never reach is straying farther from happiness. That's why it's only right to give up, Banana. Can you pull out the baseball bat already? I really want to bonk him now. Have you concluded your articulation, sir? If so, please cast your attention this way. What? Who are you? And when did you get here? She's been here all the time. Wait, what in the banana is this? I present to you the dazzling seal. I am eagerly anticipating your appraisal of it, big head feeling. Feel that thought out of your head! Is that permanent ink? Yep. <laughs> this magnificence is conceived by none other than Patissier Ninja Initiate. At that precise instant you turned around, a look of dawning Eureka graced her visage. Inspiration surged through her, and this came to fruition in just point one microseconds. Imperceptible, even with a ninja's hypersight. It was just Rebel drawing it, what but hey. What the nonsense is that? I know it was you! Cooked salmon cannot swim, just as ninjas never deceive. All ninja initiate with CA needed was a little nudge. I willingly became her paintbrush to aid her in completing her training. Is that fair to say, ninja initiate patissier? <laughs> huh? Um, uh, she doesn't even know what's as going on. Stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, pythons slither without feet, as manta rays glide without wings. If your decision is firm, don't hesitate to roar with conviction. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I really need to earn my credits. Stop cheating, banana! <laughs> Big head feeling. Educators impart knowledge, cultivate skills, and clarify doubts. But they must never deny any ninja initiate of their way of the ninja. Uh, yeah, you were being way too mean to her. And my six days dice is pretty good, too. It is. Ah, you've really but annoyed me, unruly monkey! You barged in here, disrupting my class, and now you're even corrupting my students with ruinous ideas! What ruinous ideas? Get out! Good ideas. Or my iron fists will show you some banana enlightenment! The same goes for you, no good monkey inciters! What's it got to do with us? Yeah. Is it our critical teacher? Alas, <laughs> the pretense of your tyranny has shattered. With that, a magnificent hunt shall be set in motion. Give it to them, assistant Anna! Show those unruly students what it means to be disciplined! Banana! Fine, there's one way to enforce that! Fiends or 
devil. I'll crush them all. That is a good one. Let the show begin. Evil leave at once. Leave. Eternal. Get them. Dreams do come true. Mask shatter. Bong, bong, bong. Now that you are vanquished at our feet, allow me to recite to you the ninja mantra. Doesn't matter what the rules say. If you bring the violence, then the violence is coming back your way. All right, girl. You've already crushed it. <laughs> yep, he did. The university failed to take these net advisors in hand. Please accept my apology for the distress they brought upon you. Are you perhaps the governor of Paperfold Town? Governor? <laughs> you humor me. I'm merely an educator. Here on our campus, our students are the true masters. I came over after hearing of a ruckus in the Dreamweaving class, but it seems like it was the Sweet Dreams troop who went out of control. My apologies once again. Mm, pardon me. But I don't think I have seen you around here before. You're not a student of Paperfold University, are you? I'm only asking because we know a stowaway has recently snuck into Pentagoni. Eyewitness accounts from the Bloodhounds describe someone with pink hair, red attire, and a blazing scarf. You seem to match that description. No need to beat around the bush, sir. Of course. What I'm trying to say is... If the stowaway is indeed plotting something nefarious, it wouldn't make sense for them to attend classes at Paperfold University. So, I'm certain you're just an inquisitive student. Uh... Wait, uh... Adult. <laughs> Every banana seedling has the potential to bear fruit. That's why everyone deserves banana enlightenment. Paperfold University advocates freedom in education. So feel free to sit in our classes and be sure to apply yourself. Join me in a round of applause for our new student. Uh, okay. Oh, did it just turn into a banana advisor? That's so cool. I've always found him another nine. <gasps> Why do you call yourself a ninja? Are there really ninjas on your planet? Hmm. Uh, Rappa? Thank you for standing up for me earlier. Um, could you show me how you did that graffiti? I mean, your ninja move? That's ninjutsu I learned by myself. It's hard to teach it to others. But I say with certainty that you will discover your own way of the ninja someday. Yes, destiny is no different than a banana peel. Uh, okay. That's... Like bananas within their peels, we can never break free of its encapsulation. Interesting comparison. Looks like things blew up real quick. Everyone's flocked here to see what's going on. Jeez, please tell me they're still duking it out with the teacher. Nope, you're too late. Hey, isn't that Montana? Oh, say cheese! And Don Hung and Superstar 2. We meet again. <laughs> I already um, was done now. I came up with that name on the fly, so let's forget about it. Uh, just call me March. Gotcha. You can drop Montana too. I'm now known as Denisovin four two six. Uh. Denisovin four two six. Just become part of the association. That's right. I. 
finally got into the Slumber Nana Association, the GOAT Club at Paperfold University, and that's my name in the club. Hey, what does the number mean, actually? That's my membership number. Each member has their own unique number. The Slumber Nana Association was founded by fans of Slumber Nana Monkey. Our fan base stretches far beyond the campus and includes ripe bananas from all over Panacone. We create fan art and merch based on Slumber Nana, host Slumber Nana cons, and hold a few other off-campus events from time to time. Itching to join us? I can refer you! <laughs> wow, that sounds even. like a lot of fun! Can you get all of us in? Count on me! It's just that the club has a rigorous screening procedure and we only take in a few members each time. If I refer Marchin, then the two of you... Uh... I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. <laughs> and here I don't need to focus on my studies. Okie dokie! Go to March then. Oh, there's an off campus event happening later today at a supposedly mysterious location. I can't wait. That sounds suspicious. Uh, let me say goodbye to those two, and then you can show me where to sign up. Uh, good job playing along back there, guys. Uh, things are getting weirder, huh? This monkey even has a fan club now. But since we have a way to get into the club, I'll go see what they're up to. Will you though. be all right on your own? Yeah, it's less suspicious than all three of us joining the club together. Let's split up for now. This way you two can keep an eye on what's going on in the campus. That's why she appeared before Buta, so this is even playing a bit before uh, the encounter with Buta. Please, be careful. Aww, I will. Don't worry about me. You too. Catch you guys later. Hmm. I hope she'll be okay. <clears throat> um, Prof Nano was clearly steering the conversation his way earlier. Let's go find Rappa and hear what she thinks. Banana. What was that? Hmm? Huh? Slumber Nana Monkey? I see a tag on it. P. Lynn Ritchie, Fortune Academy. Huh? This is the toy you ordered. It looks rather unique. Ah, so this is our bureau shipped out already? He tried to feel his quality, but the slumber nana monkey started and suddenly bolts away. Gah. It ran off. What now? We'll chase after it, I All guess. Alright, let's go get the toy back then. Uh. <laughs> I Does like this. this toy uh. have a life of its own? <laughs> I feel that I hung with his, uh... Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rapper? I guess also Rapper. When did she get ahead of us? Give me a break, miss! I'll repeat this for the millionth time! I'm not evil! Nor do I sell any Gorge Row! Ah, uh, there's a fever dream of a song playing in the background there. Nay, Ninja Initiate Merchant. The other initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop. Confess at once. Are you under the spell of evil Ninja Osaru? Probably. I told you I had a confession out of him. Oh, yes. Hey, it's you. Uh, please, uh, help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Fiendling puppets imbued with life. 
the epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. <laughs> if, if it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. How desperate is he? How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Uh. Oh, oh, Fortune Banana Advisor. The customer is always right. Do not teach you that. Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. Mm. I should have sang monkey, I guess. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare. Should have sang monkey. Uh, an ad advisor? The customer is always right. <laughs> Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Mm -hmm. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know. Struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. Also, it's not having any cutscene the, 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 like the song plays the entire time in the background. <laughs> it's hell annoying. <laughs> but the slumber nana monkey is the perfect companion. It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana. Yeah, no. But my God, look at the time. I have to get ready for my dreamscape marketing class. Excuse me, students. I'll take all other questions after class. I, I should get to my class, too. But do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, all right. I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! Banana! Where's that monkey going though? I had to with the stage, I guess. This atmosphere. Is this really a marketing class? This is really just a fever dream out there. <sighs> Mess with Memoria? Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, I, never mind. You can answer the question, then. Mmm, as well, catchphrase because we want to live like a. Uh, Brody catchphrase? Not quite. While banana gibberish and bananese help propagate the banana craze, the key lies in how Slum Banana Monkey addresses the pain point of Penaconian consumers. Okay. Both rich and poor alike come to Penaconia in the hope of leading a more fulfilling life. Unfortunately, a couple of days in the dreamscape is all it takes for them to realize this is nothing more than a fantasy. Dream chasers soon give in to exhaustion, and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivities. Those 
fame tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slum Banana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. Yeah, no. I don't agree with that. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Don't you academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slum Banana Monkey toy? Banana Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slum Banana Monkey's popularity! Come with me, Vigi. I'll, I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys, but why did they rope students into their plan? Hmm. It's a shame we don't understand it's Bana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? Good question, actually. I'm counting on you, Bana. Huh? Please no, Danang. <clears throat> the spirit of the monkey shows a sad expression, which seems unusual because the monkeys we have seen are always happy. As well clock world, the little monkey found its smile again. The moment you shut its tire, you seem to resonate with its joy. Uh, you saw a college acceptance letter. A young person stepping through a campus gate. And a little stuff with a few of half high credits. Before it could process the emotions, the little monkey heavily dashed off into the distance. Wait, is it implying that the monkey was a person? It's working. Huh. It seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Are they literally transforming like them into monkeys? Wild monkey chase all day. I agree with this element. We have been on a wild monkey chase the entire day. And I'm not a fan of that. It's Ninja Initiate Merchant and Fiendly. Uh. Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez. Dreamweaver Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. Looks like they can't rely on him, but not this. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? Okay, yeah. They did resolve into monkeys. Oh, sweet can't you see how it is being a monkey. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, I, I guess not. <laughs> I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway cringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you can compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperboard University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Panagami too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? Oh, but now nah, how touching. Stop good tripping him. How did you know that? Banana, banana. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him, 
Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life's savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, I instilled in him the tenets of our vanacademics, convincing him that becoming a slumber nana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events. Don't tell me that is his father right here. What? How could you? Banana. Could it be? The father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter you're giving me. Of course, banana! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. <laughs> Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some worth out of yourself, and <laughs> this what use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up dad <sighs> dad there's nothing else keeping me going but not something's happening to richie we have to stop him yeah we should let's bong dad Feeling pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah! How did a ninja get in here? I have no hands to begin with, Mana! Hold your banana, students! Allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering! Letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective. And maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it. But this isn't anything new in Vanacomi. <laughs> Why do the monkeys have to cash though? Background and a never ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative. One that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Uh, Bana? Deceitful <laughs> feeling. You spoke with a not really helpful. Tongue. They can't prove a word of your claims. In that case, you're calling to surrender those in misery, blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunters hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you. Say your final words, feeling piss. I lie. A banana was that? Again. Assistant Evans, beat her to a pulp. 
I know I won't let you do that. Just what is your goal? <laughs> oh, this is no way. What? What? Okay. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Stay put. Get them. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Let's improvise. Let's break them all. Or one of them, I guess. Wait. Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Dreadfully horrid. Mm hmm. Ah. <sighs> Looks like he completely malfunctioned. Finally. <laughs> huh. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. I actually may have an idea as to who. I guess I shouldn't have put my attacks so high. <laughs> no matter. The feedling nice. deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja initiate merchant, though. Nah. So in addition to monkey on the ground, you realize that Richie has already swamped into the banana monkey during the fierce battle. Uh, of course. Banana. 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 This is a tragic reunion between two monkeys now. The two little monkeys go together, making a fake tune and banana gibberish. You can't bring yourself to interrupt this heartwarming reunion between father and son. I wouldn't call it heartwarming, but okay. Ninja initiate merchants have come to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before. It was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's Dr. Primitive, isn't it? Astute! Evil Ninja Osaru! It's definitely Evil Ninja Osaru! Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Member number 64 of the Genius Society, ah. Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Oh, you turned them into my Teletrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. We won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition, even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. <laughs> the Harmony Shogunate, As all right. In the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silvergun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. 
being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silver Gun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's... Uh? Ninja Gamma! Oh! <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um... Do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but the Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here, to recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality <laughs> please join us in the performance considering how charmony banana advisors a creator of the slum banana monkey i believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye uh -huh. i see Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. See ya. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And... I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. Did Ebony's mortar and I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. But I will actually be stopping you for today. We will continue on with this whole Mikey stuff later on. I mean, we still also have like to the event to unlock with this, and have to come back for this anyway. So I think it's a good time to stop here for today. I think it's also getting quite late for me now. So I've also been already looking around where the cutting was going on. Is anyone interesting to read? And I'm gonna throw you over to someone who's also playing Star Wars, of course. Okay. Just a mini wait for uh, you to load those out. I muted. Also, also muted the banana stuff on the stream. No. Um. You wanna? Push. You there? You go. Start right. So. With that. I hope you enjoyed the answer here. We are definitely be jumping back into this game soon to continue with the story. Do this rapper event here. But yeah, we're definitely doing, we'll be doing that next time. I hope I enjoyed it and for uh, up to this point. I really appreciate it if you leave like feedback or uh, support, be it of whatever kind here in the stream or on other platforms or on other VOD if you're watching that. And other than that, be nice oh, and by the way, give all the small ones 
a lot of love. And other than that, we'll be seeing each other next time. Until then, and bye-bye.